Hey and welcome to part 4 of my let's play of Sonic Classic Tour. We are going to play Sonic again and this time we will start in Pinball Chaos Act 1. <clears throat> A pretty fun zone but it can also be pretty frustrating, you will see why. Okay, we have these enemies. You can uh, like bounce on them, you can KO them from the uh, top, but you can like just spin dash into them or something. You can also attack them, but yeah. But this guy we can only attack from behind, and he has a, even a protection from the top, but we can chop on him anyways, so yeah, we can get this um, shield if we want, I don't want it, so yeah, we have these nice bouncy things. Of course, uh, Pinball Chaos is a lot inspired by Casino Night. You can hear the music. And yeah, the, the level design, like the background and stuff. And over there was the one up of this life, uh, extra life of this zone. Uh, like act level, whatever you want to say. Okay, we need a little bit of momentum. I guess I will just use the double jump. Um, we can't go over there anymore because, like, the balloons are gone now. Yeah, we can't really reach it. So, if you missed it, you can go back in the video and watch it again, I guess. But yeah, this level um, has a few paths, and here we have the slot machines, basically. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like we didn't win anything. We need at least two of the same characters, and then the jackpot, then it would go through. But yeah, not like this. Okay, we can go down. Here if I want the rings, but then we will fall down, so I will keep going this way. And you can't see it, Sonic, but up there is actually another extra life. You can only get it with tails. So yeah, if you need extra lives for tails, I guess. And here we have a nice room, and we have this like bumper, ball spiral things. Those are from the special stages of Sonic 1 on the Game Gear actually. Or like the Sonic 1 8-bit. Of course on the Master System it's the same. But yeah, let's go back down. Just so you can see the level. There's another way down there. I guess I will show it. After I went over here, there's no machine. Oh, this time we actually got two knuckles. So yeah, the jackpot actually gives a lot of rings. But it's pretty rare to get it. And yeah, what is this? Um, it's a pinball room. So remember the frustrating part I was talking about? It's this one. You will stay as like a rolling ball. And yeah. You can, you can move pretty nicely, just like you would when normal. I will actually not go up there. I mean, I can show it if you want me to, but yeah, that's the top. You can just go over there, but I want to go a different way, just to show it. Alright, if you fall down, you hopefully will not end up hitting the spring and dying like I did, but yeah, uh, I can try showing the extra life again, but it's so difficult. Yeah, you have to be perfect with this, but yeah, you can see it. At least you can see it. Pretty difficult to get, with Sonic at least. But yeah, um, if you go down here, there's a different way. 
It's not really too difficult, but yeah, this one is a little tricky. Don't get bounced around too much. Another slot machine. Didn't win anything, but yeah, um, like I said, it's inspired by Casino Night. The special, uh, special stages of Sonic 1 on the Game Gear or Master System, the 8-bit version. And also just a little bit of Twinkle Park actually of Sonic Adventure 1. But just very slightly. Okay, let's get a few of these rings, why not? And here would be you could move back to the pinball area, but you could also get here from the pinball area, of course. And you might have problems moving, uh, moving over here. So you just need... let's get rid of this Nick. You just need a little bit of momentum and it's doable of a double jump if you need it. So yeah, we can go here if we want to. And if we go this way, we don't have to use the pinball room at all. So you can always beat the level without it. If you don't like it. Okay. Yeah, you don't get squashed from this elevator. You just won't keep going upwards if you have a wall above. But yeah, that was Act 1. And now Act 2 also has nice music. And yeah, um, this level is inspired even more from the bonus stage of Sonic 1 on the Game Gear. And I dropped a little bit. But you will see in a second. But yeah, chaos, pure chaos. It's crazy down here. Yeah, I really want you wanted to, to give the feel of the bonus levels of Sonic One Game Gear special uh, stages. Yeah, isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah, I suffered a lot <laughs> when I played. The Game Gear game special, special stages. Sometimes you just get stuck somehow and you get bounced around and can't really get out. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to achieve with this. <laughs> okay, we can actually go up here and get some rings. Okay, we can go here. And let's see. No. Rings for us. We can move up here if we want to and move on. Or we can use momentum and go up here. We can go down here again. Move up. This is the way to continue. But we can also go the lower point. A little risky. We don't want an Eggman or this to happen. <laughs> Yeah, pretty easy fail. I will see you back shortly. And I'm back here. Already got one of these. But yeah, it's really, really risky. We don't want an Eggman who will get hit immediately. That's really risky with these bumpers spinning around. But yeah, here you can actually see there's the extra light. We need that. I mean, we don't need it, but we want it. Just because. Okay, and there are two ways again. We can uh, go up or to the left. We will go up. Nice section here. And fast shoes. Yeah, there aren't really many of these in this game, but they exist. And I'm gonna have to be careful. Actually, I will not use them right now. I will go the other way because uh, with the CPU races, you will have to go there. I will 
go there soon. Are we gonna go to death now? Alright, nice. Um, we'll go there. But first I wanna show this way because I will not go it for the CPU race because there are no silver rings. So this is again just a way for you to avoid the pinball rooms. Um, well with tails you can just fly up. But yeah, every character can finish the level like this. And yeah, there's the goal. But yeah, I will go the other way again. Let's see. Okay, let's try this. We have to be quick. Because we need the, the I mean, we don't need them, but it's easier if we use them. We can move around so quickly. Uh, yeah, let's Yeah, they're over already. That's not good. Because we want this emblem. And it's not easy to get. It's easier with the fast truths. Well, let's see. I can get this extra life if I just fall down like this and then I'll just go down there. I guess I shouldn't have destroyed the middle one because it would be possible to get back up there if I kept it. But yeah, thought of it too late, so I will see you back up there shortly. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Took a while, but yeah, that was Act 2. Alright, and we got the emblem. And it's actually basically a bonus level for this game. The pinball bonus. Um, we will check that out later. But yeah, pretty nice. That was... I think it was basically the last thing I included in this game. Something like that. But yeah, let's go to Act 3. And yeah, this time you can't avoid the pinball rooms. You gotta be pretty accurate with your play here. So... It can be frustrating, but I hope you <laughs> will be able to do it, because it will be really cool. Another pinball room. Let's go. We can get some rings. Over here. there and now we're here the boss room we don't want to fall down here because there are spikes as you can see below we weren't here before but after the music starts they do here and the boss is up here and he has some protection with a bumper but that won't stop us I already hit him three times and yeah really cool music Lava powerhouse of Sonic Spinball. Okay. You can't really get hit except if you fall down to the spikes. So it's nice. Of course, we also have the rings, so we can even survive that once. But yeah, this boss is basically don't fall into the spikes, which isn't too hard to avoid them. 
but it can take a bit to like get up to him and hit him. Yeah, every time you hit him. Um, the bumper will change direction. It spins around him. But yeah, once we beat him, a spring will fall down. And we can go up. There's an elevator. You can move left, but you can move past this invincible, invisible wall. And yeah, we did it. Pinball Chaos is done. At least um, the normal levels in normal mode. We still have to do the CPU levels. But the next zone is Savannah Zone. Um, which I basically yeah, thought of myself. It's not really a classic zone or, or in general a sonic zone. I thought of and created it myself. So yeah, it's the a zone that I uh, thought of myself in this game. Yeah, even if it's a classic tour, I wanted to include it because I thought of like. Lion King and Donkey Kong Country Returns, which had some very beautiful levels of this. But you will see it later. Um, first, the CPU races. Let's see. Or I guess I can show you the, the bonus. Found in Pinball Chaos Act 2. Didn't have enough Pinball Chaos? Thought so. Here you can play some Pinball bonus stages. And we can play as any character, and there are actually a few levels. But the newer ones will only be accessible if you beat the previous one. So like, I have to beat the Green Hill one, and then I will unlock the next one. And I also have to... Um, got far enough in normal mode to unlock all the zones, because some zones will only be available once you unlock them. But yeah, let's do the CPU race first. Alright. Pinball Chaos Act 1 and 2. I guess I will use Tails. It doesn't really matter too much. You will basically have to play the pinball rooms for these. So let's go. Okay, at first. No real problem, no silver rings. Sonic will bounce around a little bit. We don't really care about that. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, Sonic will go down. So yeah. We can do the pinball. Just as a little training, I guess. And yeah, like I said, you get a lot of rings from the checkpoint. Alright. Sonic will go his own way, avoiding the pinball room. But we don't care about that. We will move on to the Silver Ring race, which is tricky. Alright, the Silver Ring race with Sonic. The first one is spinning around over the bumper, and yeah, let's go. Second one, and I guess I can show you the extra life now. Later, I guess. There it is. Yeah. Don't care about that. Let's get the next one. And now we have to collect the rest of them down here. Perfect. Sonic will not go to the pinball room, so he will go his other way. We don't care about that. One more. Let's go. Hopefully I can make it. Let's see. Nice, nice, nice. It will be close. Just a little close, but not really. So yeah. I guess there was more time than I thought. But now you can hear the elevator. 
But yeah, we made it. That was Act 1. Alright. Who am I gonna use in Act 2? I guess it doesn't really matter, so... I'll use Knuckles, I guess. Whoops. Alright, Pinball Chaos Act 2. First, no silver rings, so not too stressful. Yeah. Complete chaos. That's why it's called like that. Let's open these up. The CPU has its own. Otherwise, there would be way too many possible um, possibilities for him to move around. And that would be way too hard to make work. Because any slight difference um, will change his positions and stuff and then he might not make it anymore. I guess I will use this first juice, why not? Down. And yeah, let's just finish this quick. Like I said, Sonic will not use the pinball rooms. He will just go the, the left path that I showed. But of course, that takes a while. And that's good, because we have to get the silver rings in the pinball room. So yeah, I hope you like pinball, otherwise this zone will be very frustrating. Alright. And uh, the first one's here. Gotta be careful. But yeah, you can just restart if you miss it. Alright. You shouldn't just hold to the right or left. Of course, try to... Like move in some way so that you will move on. And of course, that's not easy. But yeah, we made it. Let's see, third one is here. Don't miss it. There's no Eggman. Um, I'm actually not sure. This one over here. Oh, there. Alright. Said Sonic will go to the left here. And we will go to the right. To get these last silver rings. Ah, with the fast shoes, it should be a bit easier. And there's the first one. Easy. Because I can move so fast. will be over, that's not good. Damn, I like almost can't move against this bumper. Okay, and second to last. What is in the goal already? How? Okay. Damn, how is this so quick? Okay, okay. I guess we will have to be a lot faster. Let's see, we have to... have to be exactly in the way that we don't want them to be. So that sucks. But yeah, let's try to actually make it this time. Yeah, 
didn't think I would land. So I wanted to glide and then chopped accidentally. Okay, fast shoes. Let's do this. Oh my God, at least it was decent. Let's grab this. Okay, the platform isn't in our way. That's great. So easy with the fast trips. Okay, come on. Yeah, we made it. Now that's much better. <laughs> Alright, nice. I guess that means um, we can move on to Savannah. Let's see, I guess um, I can show one of these bonus levels first. Um, let's play Shadow, I guess. Or maybe I will play Shadow in Savannah Zone. So let's play Sonic in the Green Hill level. And yeah, this is a bonus level. There is a time limit. We have to collect enough rings. And yeah. That's basically just, um, yeah, pinball. So if you didn't have enough of them already, play this. It's pretty fun, actually, in my opinion. And you can also practice, I guess, if you have problems in the actual levels and yeah as you can see here there's a bumper protecting a chaos emerald we need seven uh seven five rings let's see all right that should be enough let's go there it's open now and we got the chaos emerald whoops all right nice um that's the first one, and the next zone would be bridge. But we will not do that right now. Let's start with Savannah zone. And I will play the shadow like I said. Alright, and we are shadow in Savannah Act 1. And here is the first bad neck. It's a little lion that's running around randomly in a random direction. Unless you get close to it, then it will actually follow you. Like this. But yeah, of course it can't follow me up here. Yeah, Savannah Zone. Oh, this part is a little tricky, but that's for later. <laughs> Uh, Savannah Zone. It was actually inspired by... Oh, and there was a crocodile. It was inspired by, like, Donkey Kong or Lion King. Because I did play the Lion King on a uh, game on the Game Gear. Which was really amazing. But yeah, there's another bad thing. You actually can't, like, attack it while it's rolling around. I mean, you can, but not with, like, a spin dash. But you can attack it with... Um, like this, like an attacking move, like punching. So yeah, keep that in mind. Because you don't want to get bounced around, like, into some... to your death, or something like that. So now we'll go back to the... to a crocodile, but... Yeah. You could think, like, what's down there? Like, you don't want to die, but... you don't actually. And here's one of the crocodiles. It's like a... I don't know, I thought of it myself. Create myself. I mean, it's inspired by like the crocodile heads in Diddy's Conquest. <laughs> but of course you can bounce on them, but on these, they just follow you around. And there was some, uh, like a small ring tray there. That's supposed to be a hint. And there's actually an extra light and a little window. So that's pretty cool. It was really difficult for me to get, like, good positions for the extra life in these 
levels uh, in this level because like they're very low but it's also not very like the hate like the top is up there and the bottom is here so there's not much room to hide something what that was really really close okay but i didn't get hit and there's a nice waterfall it used the, like the image from bridge zone but you know it looks very good so why not use it again and yeah these crocodiles will also like hone in on you if you're close enough and you can actually use them like this part is a little tricky because like there's no ground below but if you actually whoa if you actually land on the crocodile you yeah you can bounce up if you hold jump at least so it can sometimes rescue you. But yeah, let's move on. You can be really, really quick with this level. Of course, I have shown like a small speedrun of Shadow that I recorded on my YouTube channel already. But yeah, we beat Act 1. Alright, and Act 2. Oh my god. You will see it very shortly. I will just change to Sonic to get some, like, fun uh, variety. So yeah. Very nice sunset. Of course it has to be included if you have an uh, a Savannah zone level. But yeah, there's not much of a background here, like in Act 1. Uh, like uh, preview, like how do you actually say that? Like we just have this one image as a background, and not more like you see the ground in the back or something like that, and the trees and mountains. But yeah, um, but of course it would be more difficult to see anything if we had it. So it's just the sunset. And sadly, I see like small frame drops already because I'm recording. Oh well, um, it should not hinder me at the moment. And there, like you have to go up there, but you can do a little trick. Let's see if I manage to do it. If Sonic, no, it's too far away. Come a little bit closer. Okay, that's enough. You can bounce on it and skip this part. So yeah, that's good for speedruns, I guess. And here you have to be careful. I love how these trees look with the background. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful. Alright. You gotta know the level. Um, oops. To be able to like, if you wanna speedrun it, to know where you can or where you have to jump and stuff. And for this, you actually, I mean, every character has a method to move up there. Mostly it's the double jump. So, yeah. If you get stuck down here, just up the bottom. Of course, you can always use these wooden like blocks here. But don't stand on them too long because it will sink down. But it will get back up if you are uh, not above it. And there you actually can't cheat. I mean you can. You can do this. Okay. I don't care about the rings. I can move up without having to go back. So yeah, and we have the second hidden one. There is like extra life. And another beautiful scene here of the tree. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say I have actually redrawn this lion badly. Because, of course, it was in Sonic Lines 3 in this um, like musical play uh, level, like Zone 4, I'm not sure what it was called exactly. But there the lions had like wheels and they did, like uh, drove around. 
but I have drawn them with this. Because I don't want them to. Like, I believe. That <laughs> would be a little silly, I don't know. Okay, whoops. Let's see if I'm gonna fall down because we would have to go back. Not much, but. I mean, you could cheat with the crocodile again if you bounce on it, but yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a very long end, actually. Almost four minutes, but of course, I have uh, shown a little bit. Which takes some time. Alright, Act 3. Um, I will play Sonic again, I guess. And this Act 3 is actually a little bit special. Yeah, you have to be careful. You have to actually look at these little platforms to know what you can stand on. Alright. Gotta be a little bit careful, unless you know the level very well. And yeah, this level is special because there are actually these crocodiles. And usually in Act 3s there are no bad maps. But this one is a little special because, I don't know... I just felt like doing it. <laughs> of course it's a little bit uh, like my own creation, so... I don't know. I just wanted to do something. With no extra life in there this time. But yeah, this level is actually also special because... Not just because of the crocodiles. But also because uh, they can actually be a little scary, you know? If you're down here and they follow you around, I mean, you can just KO them, but it's a little scary because you can't jump high and stuff. And yeah, it's uh, especially because it's also a very long level. It's actually the same size as Act 1. And there's the boss. So it's similar to like, I mean, um, that. <laughs> okay, I will see you back there, so you don't have to watch me go back. Alright, we are back. And this time we gotta be a little bit more careful. I lost the ring already. So yeah, he uses the same like, like shit. He used in Labyrinth Zone, actually. And in Bridge Zone. So yeah, we gotta be careful of these, like, bullets that he shoots. So there's three. And it's always to the side you're standing on. And every second time, he actually moves up. And you can... Yeah. You gotta be careful of this crocodile, because he will drop it when he goes up. And if you don't KO it, that's not good. Because it will be scary if you're down here. You can actually just stand there and punch him, but yeah, gotta be careful. Oh, that reach. That was close. But yeah, we managed to beat him. Nice. And we did it. Sonic has passed at 3. Very cool. Alright, and the next one. It's breezy mountain zone. But of course you will see that in the next part we are just going to do um, the CPU races. And I feel like playing. Okay, okay, I have to think about this, because the CPU races in Act 1, especially Act 1, are very, very difficult. So I am going to use Shadow, <laughs> because it's the easiest with him. Race versus CPU. Let's see. We did all of them, except Savannah 1 and 2, and of course Breezy Mountain, but we, can, we aren't going to do that right now. We are going... So go to Savannah Act 1. Damn, this is gonna be difficult, but it should be manageable with Shadow. Alright, Sonic is already going to heal up, but we don't care, there are no silver rings right now, so it doesn't really matter. We can just easily beat him. But let's actually stay with him a little bit this time, so you can see how he moves around and such. 
nice spin dash to avoid these like wooden platforms that can move around if you are standing on them. Because I can't guarantee them being like where they are. Like they could be moved a little bit down if you are standing on them. Okay, let's use some bounce to be quicker. Gotta be careful because I am already seeing these brain drops a lot. Okay, guess I will do this. That was a good save. Of course I am shadow. If I am like perfectly timing my jumps, I will be able to go. Okay, and this one this one is very tricky. It's easy to shadow I guess. Okay, I don't actually remember all of them. Maybe I do. But I gotta be careful. Whoops, that's not good. Shadow can Get out of this like jump attack. Okay, we have to go here. Okay, it's so good that I'm shadow because yeah, it would be very difficult, otherwise. but it's already difficult. I'm already behind. Okay, let's see. I have to be perfect now. Don't forget this one, and we have all of them. Very nice. Okay, yeah. With Shadow is pretty easy, I guess. But with Tails or Knuckles, this is gonna be a challenge. Alright, nice. And I am actually going to try the second one with Knuckles. Because I don't wanna only use Shadow and just, like cheat a little bit like that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, Sonic is doing the peel out again. Of course, at first, there are no silver rings. I have to keep that in mind. Okay, this is gonna be difficult if he's already. I mean, he's moving around fast, so of course it's gonna be difficult if I have to stop everywhere to get the silver rings. We can do that over here. And I think I will actually. Play the level of silver rings off cam first or without recording because and I have to remember all these silver ring positions. And I'm a little bit too lazy to think of them right now. Oh, that was close. Alright. Sonic is already here. And this part is nice where you out in the shadow on the bridge. Alright. Let's move up there. It's not that crucial with knuckles because we can climb. And this is a section where you have to be careful. There are the rings up there. Just so you know, you gotta jump now. And I will actually use the first. Yeah. Because I wanted to show you this. But I will just do that real quick again. And I did it this time. And I just like, I was gliding over the level like non stop. Basically, so it was really easy. But now I'm gonna do the silver rings off screen uh, first. Because just to remember the location. And I will see you. Uh, I will do it, of course, on screen. But. Just wait a little bit. I will see you very soon. Alright, it's actually not too bad. I just hope I will remember them all. Let's see, the first one is up here. Whoops, and I messed up already. Okay, I will just restart. Okay, the peanut is so fast. Okay, let's just get this. Now we can glide over for a little bit. Oh, that was so bad. Okay. <laughs> the third time is the charm. Oh my god. I should not glide over there, actually. Hold on. Okay. Now that's looking better. 
We just have to land on this here. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We can glide again. Second one's up here. Perfect. And the third one down here. Okay. Gotta go quick. Just let us stand here. Uh -huh. Let's glide over. a little bit, it hurts, because it will lose a lot of time. Okay, then let's jump. Okay, the last two. Where are they? I know where they are. Okay. It's here. It's easy with knockers. And the last one will take a little bit extra time. But it's not too bad, we can just glide over here. Spin dash, and that's it. Easy. That wasn't too bad. We have a lot of extra time. There you go. And there you have it. Um, it took three tries, but we managed to beat Sonic uh, in the Silver Ring race in Savannah Act 2. And I don't know how many parts we are gonna have. I will just. Um, not right here. I will actually do the pinball bonus with Tails for Bridge in this episode as well. Okay, we are going to go back here because there are a lot of rings. Okay, maybe I should have used Fly. Oh, it's okay. rings we have two minutes and 30 seconds so hopefully that will be enough you gotta be really careful here All right let's get these rings let's actually try to get up here now because there are a lot of rings up there as far as I remember. Let's get these first. Nice. Change direction and there we are. Nice. There are a lot of rings. So, oh no. Okay, I messed up. But it's fine. Let's try to move on. I don't even remember how many rings I need. Maybe it's a hundred. I guess it's hundred. Let's see. Yeah, it is exactly one hundred rings. Let's see. I guess we have to go back. Oh, there are so many up here. Maybe I don't have to go back. Let's get these. A few more here. Yes. Oh no, one is missing, but it's fine. Let's get it here. Now we can try to go back here, here, almost. Oh no, <laughs> it's a little tricky, but like the timing. Okay, where is it turning around? Of course. Oh, right. And we managed to do, to like get it done. All right, we had 42 extra seconds, so that's nice. And now we have two Chaos Emeralds. The next one, of course, is gonna be the Jungle Zone. But yeah, that's it for this episode. It's a little long, I guess, but I hope you enjoyed. It took a little bit to uh, like get it done, to finish it up. But yeah, I hope I will see you next time. Bye.